Hi, one of my spring projects this year is to repair the six foot cedar fence. Two of the posts have become loose in the concrete in which they're set. Rather than replace the posts exactly where they are, I'm going to add new posts on each side of the two broken posts. That way I will not have to disassemble the fence and literally replace it as it is. It'd be a lot less work. Fortunately, my neighbors allow me to come to his side of the fence so I can make the repairs. This is our side of the fence. The previous owner built it about 10 to 15 years ago. Well, it's in pretty good condition after a little power washing and removal of excess foliage here and trees. So it's worthy of saving. My neighbor, John, helped me secure the broken post using a couple of rebar, still a little wobbly, but at least to protect it from blowing down during the winter storms. So I picked up all the materials I need at Home Depot. Two four by four, eight foot long fence posts, 12 L brackets, and a box of number nine, one and a half inch screws, and three 50 pound bags of quickcrete. Now I'm ready to dig the new post holes. I'm gonna put it right adjacent to the existing concrete. That will give me some more support for the new post. Fortunately, the soil here is soft. I'd like to get it down a full two feet so I don't have to cut the end of the post. Going pretty quickly here. All sand. Nice. Let's see how far I got in just five minutes of digging. Oh my. <laughs> it's even lower than the existing post. More than two feet. Well, that's okay. I want to put some gravel down there anyway to help any water and moisture drain away from the, from the end of the board. Well, now I see something I overlooked during my preparation. The original post is a true four by four. My replacement posts are the typical size today for a four by four, which is three and a half by three and a half. I don't know that there's much I can do other than use the smaller post, but I'll check with Home Depot first before I make this a permanent fix. Well, we had some rain last night. It's much cooler and quite breezy. It's a perfect time to dig the second post hole. Roots there. Just as soft as the other hole. Cut out some of these roots. Much better. Getting down the sand now. Deeper you go, softer it gets. A couple more digs. Should do it. Looks good. I'm gonna pour in a couple of inches of gravel to get the new post at the same height as the old post. Spot on. Now to the first post hole. This is the height difference before adding the gravel. Looks pretty close. Before I proceed with the L brackets and then the concrete, I need to make sure the fence is good and straight. Not true at all. I'm going to have to pull it this direction quite a little bit in order to make it true. I installed a temporary brace on both sides of the fence to keep it true while I attach the posts with the L brackets and then pour the concrete. Nice and straight. Well, 
I'm marking the location of the L brackets on the new post with it held in position here. Then I'll temporarily remove it and install the brackets because I don't have enough room to drive the screws here with my drill. Post going in. Again. Good. I'm going to attach the bottom bracket next so I can make any slight adjustments to keeping the post true. Looks perfect. Locked out. So that will do. This should go much faster. All right, now I gotta do finish up the other side. That's all I'm going to need. Install the L brackets on the second post. Let's drop this second post in the hole. Much better. Bottom one lined up. There we go. Better get this one. Bit of a knot up here. Got her done. Perfect. Pretty good. These are the instructions on the back of the quick read bag for setting posts. Before I set the posts, I'm gonna double check to make sure they are true. And it looks good. Let's pour the concrete. White bucket holds a gallon of water and that's what the instructions say for a whole bag, 50 pound bag, approximately one gallon of water. Yeah, I'm gonna put a little bit more in. Since there's not any sod here, the concrete can be right at the top of the, of the grade. So I'm going to have to put in about one and a half gallons of water, a little bit less than that. 
Ideally, I'd like a little bit of a crown to keep uh, moisture from uh, getting at the base of the post. That's what rotted the, uh, the original post. A little bit more. Okay. Soaking in good. I think on the second post, I'm going to pour in some water as we go because it's just kind of making a skin on the top here not allowing the water to soak in I'm gonna put a little more concrete on top I sure wouldn't be going to this much trouble if I was doing a whole fence but I only got two posts to do a bit more water do it. I'm going to pat it down a little bit. That's looking better. Now the second post hole. This time I'm going to put some water in it as I go. One gallon. I might have a little more concrete left from a previous project. Go check it out. And sure enough, I have some left from a previous project. Need to loosen it up a little bit. A couple of chunks. A little water on that, I think. Clean up. <laughs> No good for anything else, might as well do what's left here. Twenty-four hours later, concrete is set good and hard. This is the final result. Looks pretty good. Almost like there's a gate there. Should hold up the fence for many years to come. From the finish side, you would not know it has been repaired except for the rebar that I wasn't able to get out. We can hang something from it. Maybe a birdhouse or something.